Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to set up a LoRa gateway with Balena. LoRa is a long-range wireless data communication technology that has been gaining a lot of popularity in the past few years. The Things Network is a community-driven initiative to establish a global Internet of Things network based on LoRa protocols. To know more about LoRa and the Things Network, click on the links in the description of this video. You're going to be using for this project a Raspberry Pi, a breakout board from Pi Supply, this one that you can see in the video, and also a REC concentrator, which is the REC A33. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is get all the components and assemble the kit together. Here we are at the Things Network website. So the first thing that we need to do is create an account. So let's click on sign up. And I'm gonna use my name, Daniel Balena, and then my email address, and then select a password. Okay, let's create the account. Once your account is verified, you can go to console, and then select gateway. And now let's register a new one. The gateway ID is just the name that you want to call your gateway. For this project, I'm just going to call it Balena Gateway. The second step is to add a description, which I'm going to put a sample Balena LoRa Gateway with Pi Supply Gateway Hat. Let's select the frequency as we are in Europe. We're going to use 868 MHz. The router I'm just going to leave as is. The next step is to select the location of your gateway on the map. As this is just an example project, I'm going to select anywhere in Lisbon, where I'm actually situated right now. So I'm just going to select here, which should be fine. You can also select the latitude and longitude if you want. The last step is select if this is an indoor or outdoor gateway. In my case, it's an indoor, so let's register the gateway. So here is everything you need, the gateway ID and the gateway key. Next step of our project is to set up an account at balena.io. Because I already have one, I'm just going to log in. From the dashboard, I'm going to create a new application. I'm going to call it the Things Network. And because I'm deploying to a Raspberry Pi 3, I'm just going to select it. Depending on the project, you could also select other device types. So let's go ahead and create the application. As we have one gateway, let's go ahead and add a device. 
Here is where I configure all the internet configurations of the device. Once this is done, you can just simply download the image file and flash it. So let's go ahead and select the file that we just downloaded. Then we select the drive that we're going to write to. In this case, it's going to be this one and then click flash. And now the SD card is being flashed with Balena OS. Once the process is over, we can just remove the SD card and insert into the Raspberry Pi. Once you power on the Raspberry Pi, the device is going to show up in the dashboard, as you can see here. So let's click on this one and see what happens next. This page, you'll be able to check the IP address of the device, the supervisor version, the host version, and everything else. The next step is to set up some device variables that are going to be used to configure our Raspberry Pi and our gateway to connect to the Things network. So let's go ahead and add the device variable, add device, um, TTN ID is like a things network ID is the same one that we had on our project. In our case, it's going to be the same one that we had here. So it's called Balena IO Lisbon. The second step is to add the gateway key. So TTN key. And we just copy the one that had in the things network dashboard. If you want, you can also configure the email address for the contact for that specific gateway. So I'm just going to put my mail address. And that's all the configuration you need to set up the gateway. The next step is to download the source code for the gateway and push to the device. So. I have here the official PySupply IoT LoRa Gateway Balena repository and we're going to download to our computer. Just click clone or download. Uh, you can either download a zip file or clone with using zip. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go to this folder here. So I'm just going to git clone and clone the, the repository to my computer. All right, I already have all the files. So let's just go to the folder. As we can see, we have all the information here that we need. And we're going to use something called Balena CLI to push all the code to the Raspberry Pi. All the information that you need to install the Balena CLI is available on the description of this video. The next step now is to just upload all the source code to the Raspberry Pi. And for that, we're going to use the Balena CLI just by typing Balena, push, and then the application name, which is the Things Network. And type enter. And now the container is going to be built and we're going to be able to see the code being downloaded on the Raspberry Pi. So let's just wait a few seconds and see what happens. All right. So in this page, as soon as you see the unicorn, that means that our build process is completed. Click 3 minutes and 348 megabytes. Let's go back to the Balena dashboard. And if you go to the device, you'll be able that, to see that the container is being downloaded here. Depending on, on your internet speed, that should take a couple of minutes. All right, the downloading is completed and you can see that our container is running. So at this point, if you go to the log files, you're gonna be able to see that things are happening. And in a few minutes, you'll be able to check that the device is online from the terminal and which we can confirm on the things network. As you can see now, the device is connected to the things network. And that's good. Now we can go back to the things network console and we'll be able to see that the device is online. And everything seems good. Now, let's install a really nice antenna on the gateway, put it outside and start receiving and transmitting messages.
I hope this tutorial was useful for you to learn how easy it is to deploy a LoRa gateway using the PySupply gateway board with a Raspberry Pi and Balena Cloud. If you have any questions, please just submit them in our forums. Until next time, bye!